Hey guys, in this episode, I'm going to talk about event callbacks for Razor components. Event callbacks could be used to get the control values which are there in your child component into your parent component. Let's see how this could be used. I don't know if you have noticed or not, but we have an issue on our authors page. Whenever I try to save an author, I enter first name, last name, select the city from the drop down, enter email address, and when I save it, John Smith does get saved in my database, but the city for John Smith does not get saved. The reason why that's happening is because the drop down where we select the city is a child component. It's in child component. And we're not able to get the value of this child component, this drop down value in our main form to save it in the database. So one way we could get value of this drop down is by event callbacks. Let's first check out the demo and then we'll check the code. So you can see my author's page. I have entered John Smith and selected a city and email address. And when I save it, you can see that John Smith does get saved, but the city, uh, the city for John Smith does not get saved. So in code, uh, if you look at our author's page, I have added this select city component, a child component into my parent component. But this dropdown is not bound to any of the models or we are not mapped any of the events in our parent component. And this is selected uh, select city child component where I'm using a uh, select HTML tag and looping through cities to add cities in the dropdown. And we would like to get a value of the selected city from this component. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna catch on changed event on my uh, drop down, which is in child component. Now, what I would like to do, I would like to call a function in my parent component whenever this on, ch on change event gets triggered. So I will have to pass a function from my parent component to my child component. To get anything from your parent component, what you do, you create a parameter. You create a parameter property, and this property is going to be an event callback. And as this function, this will be a function which will be passed from my um, uh, from my parent component. What I'm going to name it as I'm going to name it as on change event. And this on change event should get mapped to on change trigger of my drop down. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Sweet. So if I go back to my parent component and uh, try to enter on. Uh, this will not pop up in the first, so just try to save your document first and then try to enter um, uh, enter on change event and you can see that it's it's now popping up in the IntelliSense. So I have this on change event which I will have to map it to one of the functions in my parent component. Uh, to do that, I'm going to first create the function. I'm going to first create the function in my parent component. I'm going to call it as private void on select city, select city change. So this function will get called whenever, whenever that on change event triggers in my child component. To do that, I will have to map. I'll have to map this function, the parent function, to on change event of my child component. Nice. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna test if this um, is actually working or not. To do that, I already have a property selected city. I would like to populate this property on my on my UI to see if uh, this on change event is getting is working or not. To do that, I'm gonna say selected city i'm going to say selected city and change the text of this property and populate that on my ui so i'm going to say um select city has been changed has been changed nice and this property i'm going to populate right after my form so that we um we know that um, the drop down event is triggering. And let's put it in column 12. Nice. Let's run this and see if this is working or not. Nice. 
So if I go to my authors page and try to try to select a city in my drop down, you can see that this text gets changed. I'm going to refresh my page again. And if I select a um, item from my drop down, you can say that the text is getting changed on my UI. So this is how you can handle, you can capture the event uh, from your child component to your parent component. Let's try to pass the value. So we need value which is selected in this drop down. To do that, I'm gonna say, um, I would like to pass change event arguments from um, from this on change event which is happening on my child component and you can capture this change event in the function that you have passed to your child component to do that i'm going to say this on select city change which we wrote on our parent component and we would like to get the value of change event argument in my select city so instead of showing the static string i would like to show the value which has been changed in my drop down to do that i'm going to say change event and value and this is an object so let's go ahead and convert it into string sweet let's run this now so when i run it if I go to all this page and when I select the drop down, you can see that the value of my uh, drop down is getting set to my parent form. So, this is how you can get value of uh, your child component, value from your child component to your parent component. So, every time I change the drop down, I get the value on my parent component. So, let's, let's assign this value to the um, to the new author that we're trying to save, right? So to do that, I'm gonna, the only thing that you need to do is say, uh, you go to your save authors. So it doesn't matter if I'm updating or saving a new record, I would like to, whatever author that you're trying to insert or update, I would like to se set the city to selected city property, which is getting changed on every event callback. So if I run this, and try to update John Smith city, if I go to all this page and try to update John Smith city to Houston and save it, boom, you can see that John Smith with proper city gets saved in my database. So this is how you can, and the, you can do this with any control, any HTML control, you can get their value and their event arguments in parent component and, um, you know, perform operations. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. I code live on Twitch. So if you want to come and say hi, you can do. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.